I hear this all the time. Uh, I listen to a lot of interviews, podcasts, and stuff like that. And a large percentage, a way too large percentage of people, when they're being interviewed, will respond by saying, that's a great question. It's a great question. And judging by the amount of people that do this, it's not just some natural thing that you would think to do. Like, it's natural to say hello to a person. This is not natural. It's so unnatural that I was listening to a podcast where the woman was starting to answer the question. And then, so, he was like, so, uh, you know, are the planets in our solar system? Whatever the question was. And she's like, well, actually, uh, Neptune... Oh, uh, that's a great question. Uh, Neptune... So what bothers me about this is obviously somebody, some morons, publicists probably, are telling these people, listen, you got to work in. That's a great question. You got to do it. And they do it so much sometimes that I'm like, I know you're lying because if you do it once, maybe. Maybe. But a lot of people do it every single time, which can't mathematically be possible. You know, by the fourth, that's a great question. Nah, now I know you're a fucking liar. Because they can't all be great. I mean, throw it, sprinkle in a couple of, oh, that's a, that wasn't your best question. But also, why are we doing it? Why are people doing it? Does the interviewer really need the validation? Do they really need it that badly? Like, what? That's a great question. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You know, when I was in the shower, I was thinking about asking you that question. And then I proposed it to my wife, and she told me it was stupid. But you, you just told me it's a great question, so I'm going to go home and tell that bitch a thing or two. And by the way, we're getting a divorce. Um, But thank you so much for the validation. Another great question? Wow, I'm on a roll. Another great question? Why I'm having the day of my life. I haven't had this many great questions since the last person I interviewed who was obviously told to say the same fucking thing. What bugs me about this, nothing drives me more insane about humanity is the stuff people do to manipulate other people. Like, this feels like it comes from one of those dumb books, like, how to influence your friends and win money, or is it the reverse way? (laughs) Anyway, those stupid books that teach you how to manipulate other people. I I don't like that. I don't want to be manipulated. Plus, I'm too smart. That only works on dumb people. Smart people see it, and go, whoa, what are you doing? That wasn't natural at all. <laughs> Yuck. Dumb people go, oh, he could have said it was a great question. Now I feel better. I... But books like that, I mean, they, uh, they'll go as far as... Uh, I think why I'm annoyed is because I did get tricked. I said I didn't, and I'm too smart to get tricked, but I got tricked. There's a... Uh, One of the things that they'll tell you is like, what you do is you mimic the person you're talking to. You mirror them. You mirror their facial gestures, their hand gestures, their body posture. And what happens is the person just naturally likes you more because you remind them of themselves. And it worked on me because I was trying to sell a car. And... uh. This guy was trying to use the mirror trick on me. But, you know, uh, this is how I knew. Because at first, he was just subtly mirroring me as I was telling him, like, hey, yeah, so I got the, uh, you know, new brakes I put on there and uh, changed out the alternator. But then I noticed he was repeating some of my hand gestures. So just to test my theory, I really went over the top with it. I said, so yeah, I changed out the alternator. Uh, I change the oil every 3,000 miles. 
on the on the dot, I uh, put in a new exhaust system. Ah, 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 ah. And he followed me. Move by move, he followed me. Even the slap in my face. And I knew, I knew he'd read one of these books. And the worst part is it worked. I sold them the car for like $1,000 less than what I was asking. But what are we doing? What, what, are, what the fuck are we doing? <sighs> Although I feel that obviously it works on some level. It's a trick that works. Otherwise, 99% of people who, get, who interview wouldn't say it. I mean, I've just ruined it for you. If you haven't noticed this, I'm sorry. Because now you won't be able to listen to an interview without noticing it, and it'll drive you mad. <laughs> like, it drives me mad. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't trust this person anymore. I bet you if you interviewed Harvey Weinstein and Jeff Epstein, is that his name? Both of them would be the type of person who throws around, that's a great question all the time. That's what I'm saying. That's how terrible of a person you are if you're throwing around, that's a great question. You're basically a sexual offender. Is Yeah, I'm equating you to that. But since it obviously works, I thought I should start implementing this in job interviews. To trick the person into hiring me. So if he's like, uh, so uh, welcome to the interview. Did you did you have any trouble finding the place? <laughs> oh man, that's a great question. Uh, no, no, I didn't. Uh, GPS works pretty well. Plus, how do you miss Costco? So, <laughs> oh okay, yeah. Um, so what made you want to apply for a job uh, at Costco? Oh, that's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, great question indeed. Indeed.com. That's how I discovered. That's how I discovered this job. But I'm hired. You don't even need to know anymore. He's like, I don't know why. I just like you. Maybe it's because you validated the most stupid questions I could possibly ask as great questions. Like, I don't even need to go. Be You know, honestly, I don't want to ask you any of the real interview questions for fear they might not be great. I mean, I'm, I'm two for two right now. So I got to just hire you. Otherwise... You might tell me one of my questions is not a great question, and I'll be devastated. And then I'll find out that my wife was right the whole time.